to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today you guys have a fun YouTube video for you today. This video is a collaboration. So it's in collaboration with the beautiful ladies here on YouTube. Lisa of Lisa Birmingham is hosting this collaboration. So we're all going to be decorating our fireplaces for the Christmas holiday. And we all have our own unique style and decor. So I would definitely love for you to check out and see these other ladies and see what they all have to offer. Okay, you guys, so here's all of the other participants. Make sure you check the playlist down in the description box below. So to start, I'm gonna be using this nine foot garland. I did end up getting this from Home Goods. So I know I wanna I want to try to keep all of the decor that I'm gonna be adding to this garden is stuff that I already own. But this I did end up picking up from Home Goods because I ran out of garland. I didn't have any left, so I needed to get a new one. So this one actually has all of, it's nine feet in length so it's pretty large and it does have batteries it runs by batteries which i thought was pretty good so it takes like three double a batteries and it has these little bitty uh led lights on it that you can use to light up the can light up the garland and i might end up adding a little bit more lights to it once i get it all set up i have some little uh led lights also that i want to end up probably adding to it but it's a pretty large garland it's nine feet long, which I think will work great for this fireplace and of the garland. So I'll show you in the camera. So this is the brand of the garland, and it was actually $39.99 from Home Goods. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and voice over this section of the video just so I can explain to you in detail of how you can style your garland on your fireplace mantle. So right here, you just see me kind of dry fitting the garland onto the mantle. I like to play around with it just before, before I actually go ahead and attach it to the mantle itself. That way, if I want to need to change anything or change the position or the way it looks, I can do that before I actually go ahead and attach everything to the garland. Now this garland does run by batteries, so I'm going ahead and insert the batteries into the little battery pack here just to make sure everything is working properly. So that's one thing you want to make sure you do before you actually start adding all of your decor to your garland or even your Christmas tree. You want to make sure everything is in proper working order before you start decorating because that's the worst thing to have is to start decorating, putting all your decor and everything on here and your lights and everything doesn't work. So this is what the garland looks like lit up. Now, like I said, I am gonna probably add a little bit more fairy lights to the garland probably on another day, but you guys be able to see that in the Christmas home tour. Now right here, I'm just going ahead and fluff the garland a little bit before I actually go ahead and attach it to the mantle. Now fluffing a garland is a tedious job, just like when you fluffing your Christmas tree. Your hand really needs to touch every single branch of this garland just so it can kind of have that nice full look. You don't want your garland to look flat. So that's what I'm doing here, just loosening up all the branches, moving them in each and opposite direction just so it can look really full. And then even after you fluff the garland and adding all your picks, I usually still have to go in and add a few more uh, faux greenery just to kind of make it look a little bit more full. So this is what the garland is looking like you guys all fluffed out and as you can see it's a huge difference from what it was looking like in the beginning of the video. So now I'm just going to have my husband take his little staple gun and add a few staples to a few of the branches on the garland just so it can stay in place. Now I do staple my garland because the command strips doesn't hold because my mantle is very rustic so it's just solid wood so it doesn't really hold on there it always falls off so I end up just putting some, a few staples in it. 
Now I'm just gonna add some ornaments just to embellish it. These ornaments I got from the at home store is from the Winter Tide collection. I love it because it has a little bit of sparkle to it. So like I like to, what I like to do is go ahead and dry place the ornaments on the garland first before I actually go ahead and attach it to the garland. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some hot glue and attach it to the garland this way, but you can also just take some some ornament hooks and or ornament hooks or floral wire and attach it to your garland like that decide to use a different color scheme next year from what you're using this year if you guys have been following along with my christmas decor videos this christmas season you will know that i put up two flock trees in other parts of my house but in this room i decided to put up an unflocked slim pencil tree so for this garland i definitely wanted to keep it really natural i wanted to have a lot of the green showing on it just to make it look really minimal because i didn't want it to kind of outshine what's going on with the pencil tree especially since the pencil tree i kept the decor on there very minimal So I decided to make the garland match what's going on with the Christmas tree in this room. So I'm using the same black and silver bulbs and ornaments that I use on the Christmas tree as well as the same ribbon that I use on that tree as well. So I wanted to add some Christmas uh, poinsettias or poinsettias to the garland as well. So you'll see me add these cute little taupe color poinsettias to the gar to the garland. But you will see later on in the video, I'll actually end up switching those out to some smaller ones that match more with the decor that's going on with the Christmas tree. Because I felt these was a little bit too taupey for the decor that's going on in this room. So I decided to add a silver and white poinsettia to the garland instead which are a little bit more smaller but here i'm going to go ahead and add some acorns these are like some frosted acorn picks that i got from i believe hobby lobby last year and i usually like to use picks in my garland just to fill in any dead space that it may have in there these usually work really good because it adds different textures and dimension to the garland as well i'm also going to add these silver picks that i got from the got I, that i got from home goods these are very large picks and to make them fit on my mantle, I end up just chopping them in half just so they'll be able to stick in the garland a little bit easier. But I love it because it adds a little bit of glam to the garland as well.
I'm just gonna go ahead and add the ribbon. This ribbon is very sheer, but it has a little bit of silver, actually it has silver trim on it, but the inside of the ribbon is like a sheer mesh. So I'm just gonna use that to add to the garland. And this is the same ribbon that I use for the Christmas tree as well. And then how I add the ribbon to the garland, I usually just find the branch that's furthest away from the front of the garland and tie it around there tie it around one of the branches and kind of tuck it in long enough so that I'll be able to have enough to kind of make a half of a bow if that makes any sense and then this ribbon is it's not wired ribbon so I would definitely recommend getting wired ribbon they didn't have any they were all out of the wire ribbon at the store so I ended up just having to settle for whatever they had now next I'm just gonna take these frosted I think these are pine picks and I'm just gonna add these to some of the gaps that I have down here at the bottom just to kind of close it up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some decor to the top of the mantle. I had these gorgeous little Christmas tree, a cone-shaped Christmas trees from, I got them from the at-home store last year. I had them sitting in my bedroom, but I ended up moving them out here to the fireplace. I love them because they have, adds a nice little sparkle to the mantle as well. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my Santa. I ended up purchasing that Santa from Home Goods, and I like it because he has the silver and white that's going on with this room as well. So here you see me just going ahead and adding in those little silver and white poinsettias. I end up, like I said, I switched out those, I'm switching out those bigger ones and I'm just gonna add these little smaller ones there. And then also I'm gonna add these little picks here that I got from Hobby Lobby last year as well to the ends and then also to the center of the garland as well. So as you can see, a lot of the things that I'm using to decorate this mantle are things that I already own that I had in stock from previous Christmases. So I definitely would recommend you starting with what you have first. That way you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of Christmas decor because it does get expensive. So I try to utilize everything that I have already. And then if you need to add more to it, you can go and purchase little things to add a little bit of extra to it. So now I'm just gonna add a few of these little sparkly floral picks. Now this was a long, was attached to a longer stem, but I end up breaking some of the branches off just to add a little bit to the garland. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look and I absolutely love how everything has turned out. I love that it adds a little bit of sparkle and then it still has that natural look as well. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe down below. check out all the other ladies mantle decor videos as well and to all my beautiful subscribers i'll see you all in my next video bye